Eddie G. TV. 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 Boom. Eddie G. TV. Welcome back. Another episode. This is episode 27. 27. I got my guest here, Dean Parker, a member of a, a very dope group, um, Space Weather, which is, a, this is the trifecta. I've had, no, I've had every member of Space Weather on the show now. Excellent. So, uh, welcome to the show. Thank you very much. Yeah. Good day. Okay, so, from um. Space. So, like, I, I've heard from the other guys about, like, the, like, uh, the name of Space Weather. Like, wh- 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 what is it to you? Well, to me, it's, uh, I've been following Space Weather. It's actually a thing. It's, uh, um, staring at the sun, basically. And, uh, it dictates a lot of what, uh, it does to our climate. And I just thought it'd be a cool way to help put the, flag the term. Maybe some people uh, look it up and find some of the other, you know, technical end of it. Other than that, you know, live half my life in fucking space anyway, so weather's nice sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> That's mainly it. You know, I love, uh, it's just got a good ring to it. Yeah, it does. I like it. I like it. So, um, how are, like, I, I, I I'm not even sure if I even asked you the guys of how, how the whole band like formed. Like, it was Chris. Yeah, it was Chris because after he was doing the rap thing, eh, and uh, he ended up uh, well dating and then marrying my stepdaughter, uh, yeah. Becca. Yeah. And he knew he came and saw me with my old band. He was in a Metallica cover band, Patter, Battery, for a while, a lot of years, and he used to come and see some shows and knew I played guitar. And that ended up, you know, going a different direction. We ended up getting the house. And <laughs> he ended up marrying Becca. And one day, it was just along the lines of, well, he wanted to start having a band, start jamming. He didn't know. He Actually, it started out, he wanted to play guitar because he knew how to do all the power chords and all yeah. that. <laughs> he wouldn't want to bring me in for bass. Like, oh, all right, whatever. I know how to play. I'll play yeah. bass. So... I think that lasted half of the first jam, and that was it. Mark, oh, had, yeah. Mark had not played. I guess he fiddled with the drums and never had done drums seriously. Slack yeah. had never really done bass or guitar or anything seriously, yeah. which was excellent because we just started yeah. gelling together, and we just uh, we ended up writing our songs just with that, letting Slack do things on the bass while he was learning. We would look at him and go. Just play some kind of pattern that you don't know, whatever, but yeah. if it makes sense to you and you can make your fingers do it, then you play that, and then Mark and I will screw yeah. around with it and dance yeah. around with it, and that's what ended up our first batch of originals was all done like that. Oh, that's dope, that's dope. It was just, so it, was, <laughs> it was mainly Slack just pulling us all together, right? They awesome. just looked at me after the guitar thing, and they were just like, okay, we'll just you know, fucking shred, you know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's what he said on, uh, on uh, our, our podcast. He's like, he's like, Dean, he's a said talent. Uh, he, 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 he's the talent of the, uh, of the group. That's what he said in, in our, our interview. I don't know, man, because I love the way he writes songs. He's got, yeah. you know, his, he's got a good voice. He's got good timing. His song writing is... What he sings about is great. Oh, yeah. yeah? I come yeah, up with yeah, song yeah. titles. That's about as good as I can do. Uh, 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 you guys are good live. I've seen you a couple times now. Uh, I, I really like your, your live your live sets. I, we I, got another one coming up. Next one's coming up on uh, February. What's next Friday? Next think, Friday. You guys stay busy, though, eh? You're like, well, yeah, like, try you know, to. Yeah, I, I shows all the time, all the time, and that's the way to be. Like, uh, Now we've got, uh, got an album coming out. we got... Uh, all the recordings done. We're just doing the mastering now. We're going to have another video coming out. That we're uh, the, we did a little camera session down in this place called Simcoe. My <laughs> 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 buddy recorded the show, and we had three different cameras from three different cameras. We're going to do a little live video too. It's all coming out this year. Twenty twenty is a big year for it. Nice, nice. We're open. Nice, nice. So, um, what would you say is like your guitar of like choice? Like, what, what's your favorite guitars? Wow. I used Ibanez's for a lot of years and anything that was like a metal guitar. So, and then I went to a Dean. Uh, Makes sense. 
Yeah. It's going to be an Ewok woodwind. Yeah. <laughs> well, had this, Dean had the style on the end of the headstock. Yeah. It was a big pickle fork. It was like dime bags had them and everything else yeah. like that. But I love dime bag. Come on, don't give me that. Yeah. Like, dime bag Daryl was a fucking demigod for guitars, man. Thanks. But uh, I just never got into that pickle fork, that big thing on the, on the end of the guitar neck. That's why I never owned a Dean up to that point. And then I saw Dave Mustang <coughs> from Megadeth came out the one year and he started being endorsed by Dean Guitars and Dean made an Explorer style guitar because again Mustaine only played Flying V's my problem with I always had these fucking issues with fucking guitars right yeah. <laughs> Dean always had these little pickle forks on the end of it and uh, Flying V guitars I never liked because they're not a good lap guitar they slide all over the place you gotta like fucking classical guitar crotch hug the things to freaking play them if you wanna yeah. sit down and play them so I never liked V's and then uh, Megadeth came off uh, Dave Mustaine came off with this Explorer style which is like the ZZ Top or James Hetfield shaped yeah. like guitar works as a good lap guitar and uh, it was a solid one piece and as soon as I seen him come out on fucking stage with it I'm like I fucking gotta have one of those so instantly ordered one I think it was the first one in Canada fucking Pat Alonzo fucking A happy retirement buddy mm-hmm. <laughs> LA Music I picked it up there he hooked me up uh, and uh, no the rest is history so I was the Dean and now with space weather, because we wanted to get such a, a different sound with it all, I'm using a Fender now, but it's all been customed and hacked, and I've done all sorts of stuff to it. Oh, yeah. EMG pick it because it was it ended up being a it was a, it's an 05 Mexican Strat, and I gutted it, put all the EMG guts in it, changed the pick guards and the knobs and everything because white sucks. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, then I just went to a company in the States called Warm Off and put a, a new neck on it. Uh, roasted flame maple. It's beautiful. So, yeah, no, it's kind of a custom. I own a little hack job. It's got the Warm Off sticker on it, but it's, it's, it's mainly Fender. <laughs> I just love the sound of it. I love the sound of those old single coil rocking pickups. And I still love the metal sound. And so that's what ended up being the sound for Space Weather. Is I just. Took this old Strat, put a lot of pretty crazy fucking distortion into it, and just beat the hell out of it. And I love it. The sound, it's like nothing I've ever used before. Uh, you don't hear it very often. Big, fat, stratty, but still metal. I like it. <laughs> nice. nice. So, um, I just seen uh, this thing. Um, uh, well, I, I, I was looking at your Facebook. And uh, they have meat-based carrots. Mm. That was fucking hilarious. Uh, uh, so, like, uh, uh, do, you, do you think this will be a trend? Like, you know? I think that this whole freaking... It was a... It, it was a spin-off of the whole uh, veggie-based meat, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so oh, I, looked yeah, into, yeah. I looked into veggie-based meat. I'm going, oh, my God. He fucking got to be kidding me. It's Crisco. Remember Crispo? Yeah. Crisco lard, freaking shortening and stuff. They say it's fucking all, all so bad for you. Like, that's what this stuff is pretty much, eh? Oh, like yeah. at no point in time yeah. does it say vegetable-based meat is good for you. <laughs> <laughs> they don't say it's good for you. They say it's plant-based. Yes, we make it out of fucking plants. All right. <laughs> <laughs> no, the meat-based carrot going, okay, I got to fucking throw the freaking... Oh, yeah, for sure. Throw it backwards on that one, man. Yeah. I cannot fucking... And then it's making such a big hit. All these fucking vegans are jumping up. Oh, I love this stuff, but fucking... Back in the 70s, they're saying, Crisco's not good for you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy how things, like, change, like... Um, oh, well, they just make it taste like fucking... Well, like, uh, uh, what they say is good for you and stuff like that. And uh, you think, like, humans are the only, only people that, that drink milk later on in life. Like, uh... All other species like drink milk early, in early, life, early in life, and then they, they, like the, the adults of their um, don't drink milk, and like they say, and they said milk does the body good for a long time, and then they they, they cut that out, and they don't say that no more. Just because we're humans, we're the, we yeah. have to be able to exercise our right to be the top of the fucking food chain, man. We <laughs> use little bits of everything around us to help improve everything around yeah. us and at the same time improve us you know that's what my whole freaking spiritual theory is on that one okay okay right so yeah man if that cow is going to squeeze out freaking milk all of its goddamn life it is not going to have eight thousand fucking kids it's going to just freaking waste it what the fuck yeah okay i need that stuff for my coffee come on <laughs> 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 fucking right <laughs> Oh, I, I don't know. It's the same thing. I don't know. Would, you, would people bitch if lettuce fucking gave milk and you fucking milked a fucking head of lettuce? You know, like, be a bad thing then, too. 
That's what I keep on saying to people about all the veggie stuff. Is you know what yeah. about the plight of the lettuce? Come on, how do you know this stuff hasn't got emotions and feelings too? You guys just come along, fucking whack the stuff, whack his legs completely fucking off. The next thing you know, before it's even done bleeding to death, you got it chopped up and on a sandwich. Fucking poor lettuce. What the hell? Yeah. <laughs> hey, that, that's why I usually go with spinach. There you go. There you go. Fuck yeah. spinach. Yeah, fuck the Spanish. Uh, let, let the lettuce live, you know? Let the lettuce go. <laughs> <laughs> that spinach, though? That spinach? I find, like, lettuce is almost like just, like, um, water with texture. It has no flavor, man. It makes a burger crunchy. That's about it. You know? Or your salad crunchy or whatever. Exactly, no, it's the, exactly. vegetable, it's the vegetables that got flavor that are freaking... They're the good ones, except for tomatoes. I fucking hate tomatoes. I like some of the oddball ones. You had radishes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, when was the last time you ever heard the word radish since the last time you talked to your grandmother, right? <laughs> 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 yeah. Yeah. That sort of shit or freaking... Well, beets are fucking disgusting. They're just like snot. Okay, um... Yo, do you think, um... I, 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 I've seen this before too and I, I, I think it might be true that uh, Trudeau is uh, Castro's son oh you fucking kidding me you see that beard ever since he put that beard on I'm like are you serious <laughs> I've looked at this one a lot man like yeah, I'm yeah. telling you his mom and Pierre used to go down there all the time she was down there in 19 freaking 71 yeah, 70 yeah. or something like that I think Trudeau's a couple years older than me or something along those lines that was 1972 that means it's the right time frame, you know. Yeah. Pierre, obviously, he was the flamboyant guy. He right, he like he freaking got into office the first time. He was single. He gets in office the second time. All of a sudden, he's got this freaking hot little freaking chick with her, right? Yeah. So you gonna tell me that she's not floozing it up? Fucking Castro be sitting there, he used a sweet doctor too, fucking puffing that fucking cigar. They be fucking sucking back some fucking fresh fucking Russian vodka. They be talking it up. Pierre be out there in the casino playing it up. He'd be like, fucking, ah, 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 little fucking Cuban. Nah, what do you think? I guarantee it. Fucking right. <coughs> Christ, man, fucking, fucking serious. Probably more than once. She probably followed. She fucking, she swallowed fucking Pierre's two brothers and a sister for crying aloud before fucking Trudeau came along. <laughs> Fuck, man. <laughs> oh, I like it. I like oh, it. Oh, fucking guarantee um, it, man. I'm telling you, genealogy doesn't freaking miss. And if you look at those pictures, you put his head beside his head around the same age as the nose is the same, the face yeah. is the same, the structure is the same. The history is there. The possibilities are there. My mother's going to fucking hate me for life mm-hmm. because she's a fucking Pierre Trudeau fucking loved him to death and... She's been hating on me ever since I came up with this. Or I'm going, I didn't come up with it. I just saw it online. And I'm yeah. like, oh, fuck. Look at it. What? <laughs> Makes sense to me. Yeah. It's fucking yeah. Canada. This is all Canada is. It's just dirty little fucking secrets. You know, speaking of, like, uh, I, I was saying, like, yeah, like, uh, Castro. Like, what do you think? Like, some of the world leaders, like, they probably got, like, tons and tons of pussy. God, what the fuck? Down there? Oh, shit. Even, like, even Shay. Freaking Shay going around being the freaking, like, being the guru that he was and stuff like that. Going to tell me he wasn't fucking dragging dick just, everywhere he just went. Just slaying, you know? God. Just slaying. Just sniping. It says you give up all your earthly fucking possessions. We got fucking pussy up to here. Anything you own doesn't fucking matter anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Thanks. <coughs> yeah, it's just one of those things. So it makes sense. I just know that fucking Canada has got so much fucking dirty shit under its fucking nails. Nobody ever fuck. Nobody ever looks at Canada. Nobody ever looks at us. You know, we're just the great biggest fucking chunk of real estate in the world that sits up here in the freaking north and rides our fucking polar bears, lives in our fucking areas. <coughs> we're really polite. <coughs> eat bacon. So right. I do. I like bacon. You know, do you know that freaking Three Mile Island? What? Number three, Oil Island, when the freaking United States tried to freaking nuclear blow up them fucking selves? No, I don't know. That's... Three Mile Island, you look it up. It's freaking, okay. yeah, it's freaking, you know, like, I don't know, I, don't know, I think it's Jersey or something like that. They had a nuclear reactor that melted down in the fucking 70s almost. Big disaster oh, okay. and everything else like that. Fuck, Babcocks and Wilcox, I made mean, here in fucking Canada. Okay, I'll have. It was the same shit we sell to freaking China and freaking Iran that everybody doesn't like anymore. Fuck, we make nukes. Fuck, fuck, Canada makes nukes. <laughs> Giving to everybody else. Sell them off. 
Fuck, they got like 13 to 18 of them all around us around here, for fuck's sake, right? We ever have a nuclear... See that fucking yeah. thing that happened like a month ago? Yo, when I, you wake I, I up first just, thing in the morning? I was about to say that, yeah. Fuck! Um, Pickering? Pickering! Yeah. Uh, so, like, imagine that. Like, you just wake up, like, and all of a sudden there's, like, you know, a, a nuclear a warning. Get some iodat pills. <laughs> Protect that fucking thyroid. Move away from the fucking cloud. <laughs> 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 Basically, right? there was a doubt. Shit. Yeah, like shit. Like yeah, just uh... that freaked me out. And then they come up with afterwards. Right afterwards, they like just wakes up everybody fucking in Ontario. Seven o'clock in the morning, Pickering nuclear fucking whatever. Who cares? Yeah. It said Pickering and nuclear, and it's on this warning system that I understood was supposed to be for missing fucking children. There's an Amber Alert. I didn't know it was actually an emergency broadcast system, too. Yeah. Great. So now when the aliens do fucking invade or something like that, then we're going to get a fucking alert on my fucking phone. Fantastic. Why can't any of this shit ever happen in the middle of the afternoon? That's what I want to know. Why has it always got to be from 3 o'clock in the morning till 7 o'clock in the fucking morning? Right? Yeah. yeah. I think, um... Fucking Pickering nuke. Yeah, please. And then they're saying, oh, it was a mistake. Thank you for letting me know that our nuclear facilities that's supposed to be run by people that go to fucking school <laughs> let this one slip by. Yeah, yeah. Fuck what else slips by up there, yeah. you fucking glowing fucks. Like, what the fuck was that? Do, do you think they'll even, like, have a warning thing if, if aliens come down? Or, like, how bad do you think aliens gotta mess something up? To, like... I don't know. It depends on how they come down. Yeah. Depends how they come down. If it's like Independence Day, then yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, for sure, <laughs> for sure. You know, like, but, 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 War of the World. So like, like me, I, I, I want I, Tom Cruise. But, but, that was great. But I think some have come down already. I think some have come down already, and they and they know. Did you watch that Bob Lazar thing? The no. movie, the Bob Lazar movie. Are you fifty one? Fucking guy who fucking apparently was the guy that started it all. He's the one that was working on the aircrafts and fucking went and did all that shit. There's a couple of big things on UFOs, and I freaking found in one that's so interesting that he did was uh, he mentioned it on the Rogan show. He didn't mention it on the movie, and it was just a quick little freaking blurb, and it's not the first time I heard it through all my digging all these years, <coughs> is that a couple of those were dug up. They were found in archaeological digs. Hmm. They weren't fucking out of outer space. They came from here. Okay. <coughs> That's crazy. Yeah. Yeah, and that goes on with a whole bunch of this other stream that I've been following for a long time that's changing all the archaeology, hmm. and that made me wonder about, because like, this involves Brantford again, right? Brantford, Ontario is fucking wrapped up on this one because when they were digging for the YMCA downtown yeah. and they had the native archaeological freaking people inside there and they were under, they, they said that you couldn't fucking build until we go in there and sieve the fucking land, right? Yeah, yeah. Because when that other section got built, they were, that's when they pissed the Indians off the first time and they said they just fucking went there built right over top of what they called, they didn't know if it was like burial ground or anything, but it was village. It was inhabited yeah. area before and they didn't fucking dig it proper when they built the buildings there originally. Which, like, fucked the Indians over. Like, pfft. Yeah. Oh, yeah for sure. Since when do we do that? Well, I can't say that. I'm part native. It's from, like, Cree side. Cree. Like, yeah. whatever, but... I'm, I'm half native. Well, yeah, there you go. Well, what, the, what the fuck are we supposed to say? Native? Indian? Where's cowboys and Indians when I was fucking growing up? I'm sorry. What are you doing? Pissing on my fucking culture now? <laughs> Shit! <laughs> I was born here. This is what I used to do. They're telling me it's fucking wrong. I can't even mention it anymore. Anyways. <laughs> So, whatever, fucking, like, I, I, what do we call it? Native American summer now? I don't know. I don't fucking know. Anyways. <laughs> but, uh... Um... What yeah, I, 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 I want to get back more on the, um, uh, on the aliens. Like, uh... Do you think, like... Like, they're gonna be, like, um... Because I think it's, like, a crazy thing to think that there's no, um, other living species in other, like, uh, planets. Because, like, the galaxy is supposed to be, like, so big. Yeah. And, like... I think that's a given. You know, Drake equation covers that one. Like, imagine, like... Like, there's probably, like, some planets somewhere that, like... The, the weather on, on on those planets... It's probably just, like, nice all, all, all year long. It's just... It's just... Because it's so far in a different the, the spot. The fucking planet of the Bikini Islands. Yeah. Like, yeah. fuck yeah. <laughs> so, like, there has to be, like, ones like that. And there has to be ones, fucking like, Nicaragua you Nicaragua know, or something like that. You know, like, Nicaragua's got to be, like, one of the most beautiful countries on the face of this fucking planet. If there wasn't yeah. all the fucking guns and killing and friggin' people getting hung from fucking trees and cocaine and all the rest of the fucking groovy shit. But, uh, if somebody's got to fucking piss on it somehow, somewhere, wherever you fucking go in this world. <laughs> 
The aliens, man, I know that they're out there. Like, just it's such a fucking given that they're out there. But there's so much fucking shit that I believe this. I believe that we are here now, and we're just been here again. Like, they've got this thing right now. It's a good thing. To, it's a thread to look up to. Yeah. A group called Suspicious Observers, and uh, this is the birthing of space weather. This is what the space weather community really is. Okay. Is um. The bottom line is it's called uh, the Earth Cyclical Catastrophe Theory. That every 12, 13,000 years, something happens, and it's they couldn't explain what it was. They were always saying, oh, it did this, it's the asteroid, it's all this other shit. No, no, no. People on top really do know. It's the fucking sun. And it's called the precession of the equinox. You know, like when you're astrology, when you're going from the age of... Right now we're coming out of the age of Pisces, going into the age of Aquarius, I believe. And it's because where we are universally, our planet's drifting through the belt of the galaxy. Yeah. And so basically, we don't like really rotate around the fucking sun. We kind of spiral behind it because the sun's... Not stationary. It's actually moving on a galactic plane. You know, the galaxy, and we're way out here in this little arm out here, and the whole galactic plane is moving. And as the galactic okay. plane moves, that's when it goes through Taurus, Gemini, freaking all the, um, you know, astrology yeah. freaking zones, yeah. right? But they're mm-hmm. all marked by the stars. And the old, the old Greeks and Plato's and everybody where this originated from, so they say it originated from, they're saying it's impossible. They could have no concept that this was drifting through space like that just from the amount of like they could measure increments with like their little stupid binoculars and stuff eh this was all inherited knowledge this was stuff that was brought forward from a previous civilization this is how all these amazing things were fucking done right i believe in it thoroughly and now they've got all these archaeological archaeologists who are digging stuff up like Gobekli Tepe and all those other places that are proven to be more than nine thousand ten thousand years old when we're, according to the Bible and according to the fucking stupid fucking pyramids and all this other stuff, we're only been here for a maximum 6,000 years, you know, or maybe 9,000 years. Like that is like yeah. the map. 9,000 years ago, we were fucking running around with bones or fucking something like that, right? But they're saying, no, man, advanced technological fucking races were on this fucking planet and something fucked shit up. Yeah. And now they're trying to say it. Now they're starting to see it, find that this whole fucked shit up thing was actually from the sun. And as the sun drifts through this galactic planes, they can, uh, you know what a nova is when a sun explodes? Now they've got a theory that's working, and a lot of people have known about it for years. It just doesn't make the fucking news. You can't talk about this stuff. Um, that the sun can micro-nova, or they essentially collect a bunch of crap on its fucking shell, build up pressure, and then blow that shell off, and there's still a sun underneath it. They say they've got instances of where they watched a sun supernova through a telescope, 20 years ago, and then it's supernova again. And they're going, oh, how did it pop twice? Well, it's because there's still fucking sun underneath there. And then they started to realize that these sheets could cake and blow off. And when that fucking thing blows off, blows off, ha, <laughs> I get it. They've got, uh, even from the moon landings and stuff, there's a lot of things that got hung up on the moon landings, yeah. that there was glassy surfaces on the moon and glass beading and what looked like shot. Like they had rocks where it had these glass beads embedded into them. And they're going, well, they didn't, they explained what it was, what it looked like, but they didn't explain how yeah. it got there or how it happened. That's yeah. always been shut the fuck up. And that's all the theory that once upon a time, the sun will, every so often, the sun's going to blow this layer off. And when it does, it can pole shift the earth or something like that. Just from the central shockwave, the earth, does they say with pole shift, everybody's theory is going to, the earth's going to flip fucking 90 degrees and we're all fucked. Not quite. They say it, the, Worst case scenarios, it'll drop 90 degrees and then come back. And they say they've got so much evidence of that. And that movement from 90 degrees to back can, number one, happen in about seven days. Gives you your seven days Adam and Eve biblical fucking story. Yeah. And everything else like that. Everything got wiped out. And then rebirthed again afterwards. Adam and Eve seeded from the earth and all this other freaking shit. Okay, yeah, yeah. No, they no. say that all these tunnel systems and all these fucking huge underground places that they have all over the earth and the fact that we're even still here is just evidence that there were survivors. They knew it was coming and they knew how to survive. They knew how to get under fucking ground. They say the biggest things you got to worry about, you know, like roughly 1,000 mile per hour winds and, you know... A big fucking tidal wave and then some fucking snow. It's fucking Canada. We're used to that shit. You can do it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, that's what the that's what the whole 
catastrophe theory was all about. Well, That's like what Space a, Weather was about. Even like a, those are great points. I've been watching um, things on pyramids lately. Yeah, and they were saying like um, <clears throat> like what, what, what they were saying is like um, these pyramids were were built and like how how nowadays like we're all con- connected like uh, like the internet like we can all mm-hmm. talk to each other or whatever. But like back like in previous like um civilizations here there wasn't like a global thing like you couldn't like talk to somebody like um, how do we know that well uh, like uh, like um i'm just saying in in, in, the, in this area it's like so like these pyramids were built and then um those people died off and mm-hmm. then and then when new people came they're like oh here's these pyramids so like those new people might have said oh they, um we built we built these pyramids yeah yeah and just took over well, right yeah there's a guy. There's another guy. Graham High, Graham Hancock, and, and another dude. So you don't dude. know how things like. Yeah. Like um, same thing. Like, like uh, I could assume this probably happened in history tons of times. Where if I tell you something, and then you tell somebody else something, and then that person tells something else, and then by the time it get if it gets around ten people, it gets back to me. It's probably not even going to be the same thing. Oh fuck no! There's a game that does that, right? Yeah. yeah. No, shit, yeah. Yeah. So it's like, um, how do we know all these different things about history and when? And it gets happens. lost in translation. Yeah. Big time. Oh, yeah. Well, forget it. I think that freaking, like, a lot of the stories that are in the Bible, like, all the shit that's fucking similar to the stuff that's in, like, uh, you know, the Hebrew Bible and the freaking Quran, like, the Hebrew Bible's freaking graced with all freaking stuff that we don't fucking know about. Like, and all this other fucking stuff. And the, this is the, the, the one is in that creates all of these fucking wars that are all supplying mass amounts of fucking weapons. Because who cares about the wars and the freaking, the people that are killed and everything else? That's yeah, about. Selling them guns, son! Fuck, man. You yeah. know how much fucking money? Like, fucking Canada with fucking R&D? Woo! We make crazy cash. But, uh, no, this is what... That's the devil. That's what creates the... This is what's driving the evil, is fucking... Yeah. This whole mentality that forgets about... No, another documentary I saw was really cool. It's an old one, and it's, you find it on YouTube nowadays, and it's called The First Druid. And what it is, is this guy was, no, the last druid, <coughs> last druid, alive. And it quite literally was. They found this guy in Northern Ireland, living in a fucking sack of fucking rocks that used to be a fucking castle. He had been there all of his life. He had five, he, there was the last five of them that were done nothing but continuously passed down all of these tomes of information and so long ago that they couldn't even date how far back this info this guy had. And everything, and he was the last one of them. And I think he died in the early 90s or late 80s or something like that. But he, they made a couple of documentaries, and this was the first one where he was trying to talk and pass on as much as the shit that they had, right? Yeah. And a lot of the history behind it. First words out of his freaking mouth was freaking, the language of the ancients was telepathic. Huh? 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 How would you translate that from fucking thousand-year-old freaking texts, you know? These days, if you if you yeah, went, yeah. if you had two people with a fucking cell phone and a headset that went back to fucking seventeen fucking hundreds cowboy days and stuff like that, and started talking to each other across the fucking field, well, fucking telepathic, aren't they? How the fuck can they tell each other from talking to? Them? Not smell the sun and fucking smoke signals. They'll carry your fucking pigeons. It's all the interpretation of it, eh? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. So in that aspect, how do you know that there was an ancient technology? How did you ten thousand, well thirteen thousand years ago? Fuck. It all depends on how roasted the fucking surface of the planet fucking got, or how bad shit got fucked up. Yeah. Fuck you up bad enough to knock you back into the Stone Age? Apparently they got UFOs that used to fucking fly. Found them underground. Maybe. Allegedly. We don't know this, yeah. right? Yeah. That's crazy. Like, uh... Oh, I don't know. That's my fucking whole take on the alien fucking thing, man. I've been looking at it for too fucking long. I still do. Mm-hmm. I go out and you look at freaking shit all the fucking time. Still? Still out there? Get high? Land your fucking hood of your car in the middle of the fucking summer. Oh yeah, for sure. Look for shit that's moving. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Good. Good times. Good that's times. Stephen Greer guy. He goes out there with all the fucking equipment. Goes out there with infrared cameras and fucking radar and fucking. Because they say if you take a if you take a night vision camera, or just a regular camera, and set it up on half zoom, looking at the freaking stars and just looking at shit, you're gonna see ten times more shit when you bring that video back home. And blow it up, watch it on high res. You're gonna see ten times more shit than what your eyeballs could see. Yeah. Uh, what do you think about those? Um, those. Uh, have you heard about the, the rods? Like all oh, uh, the fucking bugs. That was bullshit. 
There's bugs, you think? There were bugs. 100% there were bugs. Yeah, they got a fucking... What? If I can see somebody who takes a fucking camera and a light and was able to absolutely reproduce it, I'm like, it's done. It's done. Rods are bugs. Done. <laughs> <laughs> Look, man. Okay, I, I, saw, so, yeah. I, I look. I look. I saw Rods. What the fuck are those things? Like, click, 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 click. I was clickbait in the fucking 90s. So bad. So right at... Well, no, 90s, I was doing it really bad. The freaking X-Files got me into it. But as soon as 911 happened... As soon as I watch those fucking towers drop, I'm like, what yeah. the fuck? Yeah. And I still say to this day, I'll give somebody my ponytail. Hey, this is the thing right here. You want team bags, ponytail right here? You can have the fucking thing if you show me anything that proves to me there was an airplane in the Pentagon. All right? <laughs> or that 97 oh. people died in the Pentagon. If there was anything that fucking... Maybe a little airplane on a drone. Like, the best piece of research they got is a fucking... It was a fucking oh, uh. Crusader fucking droned aircraft because they found a turbofan... Off of what might have been, well, it was a jet engine. Yeah. And there was only one. There wasn't two great big huge Pratt and fucking Whitney fucking four ton titanium holes in the side of that building. It's all bullshit. They were fucking bullshit. Fuck you, you lied. Yeah. Like, uh... <laughs> Once you lie to me that, then once that lie hit, and I'm like, this is better than they shot fucking well, Kennedy well, in the well, fucking well, head. Well, well, even like the picture, uh, uh, like it showed like, uh, um, <laughs> where, where were the wings? Where were the wings? Where was anything? It was like one big hole. It's like, but like, if, if the plane hit like that, like, where'd the wings go? Where's the other 25 fucking camera videos that had a perfectly good angle yeah. on that freaking building from like the fucking gas station across exactly. the street? Exactly. Like, <laughs> they got instantaneously it's Pentagon, confiscated. It's the Pentagon. How many cameras they got right there? Like, yeah, that was a crock of fucking shit. And I can't even go... You go into the rest of it because you can go into, like, World Trade Center 7, dropping on fucking... The, 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 the two World Trade Centers couldn't drop in their own fucking footprint, you know? And I've talked to a lot of people. i got a buddy of mine that was working there in the fucking downtown New York in the fucking you know, Iron Worker and he was on a freaking building and they freaking were there and then when it fucking happened, man. And I got his description of it and fucking... Bullshit! The official story. Bullshit! Too many people made too much fucking money. It's all about yeah. money. It's like um, Epstein hung himself. I, 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 I watched the oh, video shit. of uh, I watched the video of um, like it shows the like the plane coming in, and then like before like before, the five frames. Yeah, like a, like a boop, 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 boop. poof. Yeah. Well, like, even like the, the the building, like um, it looked like a control blast. Like even before the plane even hit, mm -hmm. you can see if you look like maybe like. Uh, I don't know how many floors it is, but on, on the video, like there's quite a few floors down from where it hits. Yep. You start to see like uh, it go off like almost like a control. Blast. Oh, you're talking about the World Trade Center. Yeah. Oh fuck yeah, the freaking controlled demolition on that one. Fuck yeah. Security shut down two weeks beforehand. They had freaking crews up and down the freaking thing. They had freaking blackouts reported. Fucking all the way to they they were rigging that freaking building two weeks fucking up to the freaking to the to the to the drop. Yeah. yeah. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. And, like, I know fucking there's a lot of hate going on about it, but it's gone back. It has been, it's so far gone now. The people have gotten away with it, you know? And that was fucking Saudi Arabia. That <laughs> was fucking Saudi Arabia. <laughs> fucking Saudi Arabia. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Right now, if I'm not mistaken, okay, like, right now in the world, we've got Patriot and Brantford. Okay. Patriot's running off freaking 30 millimeter freaking barrels. 30 millimeter Bushmaster fucking cannons for a freaking wonderful place in London, Ontario called General Dynamics. General Dynamics is the guy that are making freaking triple AVs and like freaking these like Bradley looking six wheel, eight wheel fucking vehicles yeah. that are really wicked, really cool, really advanced, and we're selling them to who? Saudi Arabia. Massive fucking deal. Massive. Like, we don't want to fuck this deal up because we're selling the fucking guys that got all the fucking oil and all the freaking money. Who cares if they beat the fuck out of their women? Who cares if they can't fucking walk around or have any kind of freaking rights, you know? Who cares if they can marry 11, 12, 15 fucking women from 11 years, I think it's 9 years old, 9 years old or 11 years old in Saudi Arabia, and they can fucking marry, like, fucking as many of them as you fucking want? And right now, they are taking all those fucking Bradley fucking tanks that are like, we're not Canadian government. That's a private corporation selling it, so the government can't take any responsibility for it or anything else like that. But they're driving these things through Yemen right now, and if I'm not mistaken, they're talking pitching about Yemen going through villages that are completely slaughtered. Everybody! Everybody! Okay, so they were terrorists because they took over Yemen and 
Yeah. One group of terrorists wiped out everybody, and now Saudi Arabia is going, oh, we can't have any of that. So, But we can't really tell who the terrorists are from regular fucking people, so we just kill everybody. <laughs> Look at these tanks got them from fucking Canada. They're great. They fucking work great. <laughs> They're finally like, cut up pieces of women and children and all the rest of the freaking shit. You know, it's not the fact that, you know, like, we're not, you know, Canada isn't giving these things to Saudi Arabia. They're being said, it's like, if Canada made Coca-Cola and we're selling Coca-Cola to somebody. We don't know what the fuck they're doing with the fucking Coke. Fuck. Yeah. We're sorry. Shit, they work great, don't they? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know. There's a fucking brief history on fucking some of the dirty shit. Like, you get little blurps of it in the news every now and then, but nobody ever fucking talks about it. So what? Uh, we sell massively freaking advanced freaking tanks to freaking countries that have no problem genociding others. Fuck, we did it through what's tried on the fucking Indians anyways, right? Yeah. Natives, excuse me. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the British. Yeah, um... Good thing we liked the British. Good thing we were a friend of the freaking British, too. We would have been able to go down to the Yanks and freaking burn their fucking White House down to the ground. <laughs> Canada is still the only country in the world that has beaten the United States on their own land. Yeah. Yep. Yep, yep. I think that was so, a good... Oh, okay, go So, uh... I talk, I talk way too much. Just tell me to shut up. No, no. I was, uh... <laughs> no, I... I, I uh, I'm gonna watch it all back later. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go and watch the different YouTube videos you're saying. I'm gonna, I'm gonna all this information. Oh, suspicious observers is a wonderful thing if you want to sit back. This, this guy, this is great stuff. This guy has for the last five, six, seven years. I've been watching this guy every single morning on his own account. He's made a lifetime out of this. Every morning would get up and give you the Soho accounts in the sun. So basically, it'd tell you what solar flares are happening every day, what's coming in on the earth facing disk, what's exiting, and what they've been doing is putting all of this information into this data set where they can now predict fucking hurricanes. They can predict earthquakes. They can give hot zones. And it's been really been, and this is university guys right they're, they're the biggest thing that they're working on right now is basically an earthquake detector because they're finding all of this freaking links to the sun and it, it, it it's hours and hours of material to absorb right yeah. so i'm not going to try and like explain it all but there is the biggest thing about climate change and carbon tax and fucking the part that most of the naysayers or people that are saying global warming's bullshit it's not the fact that global warming isn't happening humans are polluting we fucking pollute all right we are polluting but that's what's not causing the massive weather and climate changes that's actually cyclical there's only one thing on this fucking planet that drives our climate you know even all of the carbon and even all of the human footprint can only change like three percent of the hundred percent that is the global climate. Yeah. You know, everything we can do can maximum do three percent. So what the fuck is the other ninety seven percent driven by? The fucking sun. The sun. That big raging ball of fire that's right fucking beside us, that makes us live, gives us light, <laughs> grows our food, yeah. does all this cool shit. Yeah. That is what makes our climate happen. When the sun's happy, we're happy. When the sun's going through shit like it's going through right now on a cyclical thing like it did 13,000 years ago, it's not so happy. It starts fucking with you a little bit. And that's what's doing the weather. That's what's changing the freaking climate. We pollute. We make the yeah. fucking earth feel bad, you know? But we're yeah. not doing that to the climate. And even if we are, the maximum we could be changing is, like it says, 3%. So all of that fucking carbon tax, Greta Thornburg getting up there and giving her fucking sob story to the freaking UN, which is, please, fucking, I understand. You're a freaking wanting fucking child. I understand. Or teenager or whatever else, you know? I hand it to them for freaking trying, but wow, the approach was fucking wrong. You just made the whole fucking climate discussion hokey. You made it some fucking kid's fucking science project. Like, come on. Come on. Like, freaking... The, the climate scientists that are talking about this, who are the serious ones and stuff like that, are more pissed off right now that they're making it a political subject. Like, yeah. And fucking taxing us more. Welcome to fucking Canada. Fuck. We could use another tax. Thank you. Prick. 
The only reason why I voted for that fucking little fucking punk son of a bitch right now, I'll tell you, I did. I voted for him. I'm going, fuck, hey, my mom like this fucking dad, whatever. I'll give the freaking kid a shot. Fuck, <laughs> we just came out of the fucking jackass before him. Who can fuck it up worse? What are the odds we're going to get fucking Trudeau and Trump at the same fucking time back to back? <laughs> fuck. <laughs> like a clown we got a fucking clown on this wait there's a clown over there too wait ha the most powerful nation in the world has got freaking eight active aircraft carrier fleets just giving the finger to everybody told North Korea he's going to wipe them off the map that's crazy yeah 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 yeah. he's right next door oh it's fucking clowns on top of clowns I hope they don't start burning the fucking world down that would suck no it would suck Yeah, so you think World War Three is uh, predicted? Yeah, okay. possible. Very. Yeah. yeah, the fact that every other freaking person in the world out there has always said, "Yeah, sooner or later you're going to burn yourself a third fucking time." Then maybe you'll learn. Yeah, predictions. Yeah, even the freaking stupid fucking Bible and all the rest of it, revelations and all that. Yeah, burn. Yeah, fire, tarnation. Yeah, or I don't know, maybe not. <laughs> okay, so, so um, prior, prior uh, 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 off camera, you're like, um, you're like, yo, uh, the recycling industry. You're like, don't get me going on the recycling industry. Like, oh, they just pissed me off. The only thing I can, but, but, the biggest, or, or, the biggest or, thing or, about or, it, we're gonna get, get you going on this. Oh no, for, so, no let's, let's hear it. Let's hear it. Oh, you fuck! I don't care. It's fucking just mainly. Everybody thinks that your fucking recycling is going into something else, like. Is the thing that, that like you're putting all those bottles in your bins? Like we're doing our job, citizens are doing their freaking job, and you want to know the guys that are on the freaking curbside collecting this fucking shit? They're doing their fucking job, right? Yeah. Like, believe me, I was one of them for a while. <laughs> we're doing our job. Everything on top of that, all the fucking plastic from all of southern Ontario and everything else, like that, nothing, not a fucking slice of it's getting recycled. It's going to fucking Ohio, getting burnt in an incinerator, so that Ohio can have power. None of it. None of it. Not even the fucking paper. Most of our fucking fiber. China fucking, a few years ago, fucking got all pissed off at fucking Canada and said, we're not going to take any more of your shit because you're sending us dirty bales. We were sending them dirty bales. Dirty bales means that it's supposed to be a fucking thing of plastic that they can recycle. But meanwhile, the bales showing up, it's got paper, fucking shoes, dogs, squirrels, whatever else. Like, that. still rammed and fucking bundled right inside the fucking bale. Like, nobody gave a fuck. Came right off the fucking truck and shoved it right into a fucking baler. And most of the time, they were. Nobody was fucking... Yeah. I don't know how... Everybody was not having enough money so that they could pay 20 people to work on a line to sort while the shit's coming through. So they had cut it and cut it and cut it and shave off some money here, shave off some money here. It's all these private companies freaking underbidding for, let's say, Brantford's fucking recycling or some county's recycling or something like that, eh? So yeah. a company, this company here says, well, we can do it for this much with this many trucks. And this company says, oh, no, we can freaking shave a thousand bucks off of that. We're going to freaking do it for this much for this many trucks. Did your taxes go down for that? My municipal fucking taxes go down for that? You got garbage collection. I'm a homeowner. Got garbage collection straight on my fucking taxes. They're paid. They're paid that amount. And that amount keeps on going up. So let me get this straight. We're giving the township more money to do a good job with fucking recycling. But meanwhile, the township's looking at this list of companies going, oh, they're cheap. They're cheaper. They're cheaper. They're cheaper. Pff, look at that guy. You'll do it for that. Pff, done. Sold, motherfucker. Yeah. Then where's this fucking money going? Where's the money going? Oh, it's fucking people just soaking it up, sponging it up. It's like fucking contractors. Yeah. Like the fucking people are about to fucking go ram a bunch of fucking Lego houses in Arrowdale. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck that shit. Like all it is is just fucking people munch, munching it up from contractors. Some contractor walks in there and says, Well, I can build fucking 10,000. I can build you a fucking 20, fucking 50, 70, 100, 300 units in this little fucking package of four acre fucking little bit. You're going to make this much money off it for this much. And I can do it this fast for this much. And all I need is these kinds of resources. Fucking town's like, There's resources. Shit. Have a tip. Get on it, bitch. And that's fucking all it is. Just a bunch of greedy motherfuckers. Like, they need so much fucking construction work around here. Just the infrastructure alone is falling apart for anybody who's driven up West Street lately. <laughs> yeah. Like, fuck, fix the fucking roads. Fix all this other shit the town wants to. They got the fucking money, but they can't find the contractor to do it because they're all getting fucking stroked off by these other fucking, you know, other freaking country-like fucking people freaking bringing, like, their friends with them and building massive fucking 
infrastructure and houses and shit like that, you know, Paris is great, they built more fucking houses than they can get rid of the fucking sewage or give them water for it. They just wow. did this great big fight for this, all this artesian well stuff. My mother was involved with it too, right? And fucking to fight to keep the water good against the growl pits and all this other freaking shit. And now they haven't gotten enough fucking water to fucking do these new suburbs and all this other shit they're smashing all over the place. So they're going to be nooching off of fucking Brantford water. They're going to put a fucking tube through and they're going to have our shitty fucking Brantford water. As well as their nice pre clifting bottled fucking whatever. <laughs> Champagne fucking water they got. <laughs> Fuck, man. Oh, I don't know. It's all a fuck in the ass. It's all bullshit. You got to keep your fucking... Don't you keep your fucking head straight? That's where you got to keep your... Keep your head above the clouds. Run on instinct. Because you're fucked. You, you're fucked if you support something. You're fucked if you're not supporting something. Just do what you like. Yeah. Do what you love. Right? That's what it's all about oh, nowadays, sure. man. There isn't freaking for no, sure. except for when it starts, you know, like raining fire. You see the big fucking cloud or fucking aliens or Jesus. You never fucking know. Could all be wrong. Jesus is gonna fucking show up and they poof. I'm back. You know, fucking, you never know. It'll happen. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? That's why um um with Jesus like that uh, uh, they made a shower because uh he, he kept on running on his bath water. So, 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 so they have in the shower, so you'd actually go in. Well, the, what the fuck? What I did on Facebook? <laughs> no, that for you. Uh, get in. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I fucking tease a lot. I, I, I got raised free. I was in church, and I did church and when I was growing up. I was uh, uh, pre, prior to 8, 10 years old. My, it was just a fucking chaos. But fucking around 8, 10, and we, got, we moved to my grandmother in Paris. My mom and I, and, I, and she was very religious. I ended up going to Sunday school and youth group and crusaders and all sorts of stuff. And at the same time, my mom's kind of a fucking witch. So she was doing like astrology charts and reading for people. And remember, <laughs> 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 we'd be going out looking for UFOs at the same time. So quite a duality of the freaking happened there. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Take me to powwow, teaching me about spiritual and everything else like that. At the same time, it's like, I gotta get out of here because I gotta go to church and you know, whatever. <laughs> and then I discovered LSD really young, so that didn't help either. <laughs> and fucking, so, I've been playing, I was playing guitar all the way freaking through it, so that helped. So, uh, yeah, so you're gonna be starting up your own uh, YouTube channel. Yeah. I just freaking put it up a couple of days ago, so the guy still put some material on it, but it's going to be Deanology. D E E N O L G Y. Ology, right? Yeah. I get it right time. Yeah, yeah. All O G. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So I'll put it up on my. I'll put a. I'll put a link up on on my stuff because I'm kind of laid off, kind of sitting back doing nothing. So definitely, if if you enjoy the like. Uh... There's a lot of things that, that, that I didn't know, so I I, I, I just let you go. But I was, I was soaking it all up, learning all that shit, and I, I can't wait to like um, hear you really like um, like like start uh, hitting on some of these. Yeah, like uh, the, the the YouTube videos. Like I think like um, after I, I, after you do a quick like a couple, you get into a stride. I want to see like when like uh, I'm interested to see like when, when you got 20 videos. I want to see like. Right like, on. Like, like uh, or, or it is, because I think it'll be... Well, a you video. got that many videos, man. I'm going to freaking hit you up for some freaking information, too, so don't worry. Yeah, yeah. So, you're um... You're better than I do. Yeah. I haven't got a fucking clue. So... I'm technically illiterate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that'll be on YouTube uh, soon, or the channel's there. So, yeah, the channel's there. Check that out. It's AGTV, and uh, we out. Peace! Peace out.